Russia, it's expected to position all new howitzers in its northern military district. Now, the district shares its borders with Finland and Norway, and that is why this is concerning. This, according to the latest statement released by the Rostec State Defense Conglomerate. In an interview, the chairman of Rostec said that the new coalition SV autonomous artillery units have completed their testing. Their mass manufacturing has also begun. The first pilot batch is expected to be delivered by the end of 2023. Now, the chairman further said, and I'm quoting here, I think they'll appear there in the northern military district soon, since howitzers of this class are needed to provide an advantage over Western artillery models in terms of firing range. Let's now draw attention to why is this all-new howitzer crucial for the Russian forces and why they need it at its borders. According to the Russian news agency TASS, the howitzers have a range of up to 70 kilometers. They are equipped with a modern 2A88 cannon, which is of 152 millimeters caliber. The cannon has a firing rate of more than 10 rounds per minute. This along with a modern system for automating the process of gun pointing, target selection and navigation. Now, the, de the deployment of this artillery comes after a major Russian offensive Earlier on Tuesday, Moscow launched a strike on a train station in the Ukrainian city of Kherson. A strike that killed one policeman and severely injured four others, a Ukrainian source confirmed. Massive bombing of the southern city. After this, the head of Russia's military administration also issued a warning of continued drone bombardment. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said that there were a number of civilians present at the time of the attack. He also added that the emergency services responded to the incident immediately. According to the reports, the situation is now under control and this railway station is now functioning again. Now you see, these attacks came after Kremlin acknowledged that a Ukrainian attack had damaged a warship in the occupied Crimean port of Feodosia, uh, Kiev, and its western supporters called a severe setback for the Russian Navy. Zelensky also joked about the incident on social media. He said that the ship had now joined the Russian underwater Black Sea fleet. This after Ukraine claimed that its air force had destroyed it.